Welcome to Great Taste, organised by the Guild of Fine Food. You're here now, uh, you're prepared to put your food or drink to the ultimate test through our panel of experts. We all know now that consumers more and more are recognising that black and gold logo on winning products and quite frankly it can help sales and helps everyone eat better food and drink. There's some really helpful documents on our website that I, I urge you to read. There's the product journey, the T's and C's, the category listing and the entry brochure. And there's also some guidance notes on how to enter online. Um, if you're struggling with, with the online entry, do look at those. Lots of screenshots, lots of help there. And we've had those translated into five different languages as well as obviously English to help our friends overseas. Guild of Fine Food members get a fortnight at the beginning of the entry process. Uh, they can make sure they get their entries in and also they get a discounted rate. We then publish a uh, closing date but I would strongly advise you to get your entries in early because we have an entry cap each year and uh, there's a clock on the website counting down so you know exactly how many folk have entered but we will close as soon as we hit that entry cap so don't please be disappointed. It goes without saying that you need to make sure that your company details are correct when you enter online and please do tell us whether your turnover is less or more than a million pounds. The categories within great taste are really there for our operational purposes so don't get too hung up on getting the right category for your product. There is a free from category uh, amongst those categories and if you market your product as, as dairy free, gluten free, any other recognised free from, then you should enter in that category. It will make it much easier for the food lover at the end of the process to search for your product. There's many things you should read about in our documents about the categories, but the one thing I would like to pick out is that a product can only be entered once, so into one category. It's important that you don't put any brand names in your product description. Um, you've got 150 characters and don't worry too much about forming wonderful sentences. We want factual information, so breed of animal if appropriate, the estate or region that it's from, the heritage of the ingredients, how the food and drink might be used or served. So what next? Uh, you've entered your products, um, we'll ping you uh, confirmation email, receipted invoice um, saying how much you've spent via SagePay and the products that you've entered. Then you need to sit tight because we'll send you a lot more information on how you should submit your products, uh, the quantity of product that you'll need to submit and all the codes that you'll need to affix to your entries. Um, we're judging from the mi uh, middle of March to the middle of June so it may be some time before we send you some information on submitting your products and you'll need to send them to either uh, our HQ in Gillingham in Dorset or to London. Uh, please don't worry if the timing is wrong for you for the week that we select or indeed the location because we can change that for you uh, and make sure that you can get your food to us at the right time in absolutely the best condition for it to be submitted to our judging panels. Then come uh, the results, uh, normally late July or early August, look at our website for the date. You'll get your results and also your feedback, crucially, that uh, has been pulled together by the various judges that have uh, tasted and assessed your food or drink. So look out for that later in the year. Best of luck and our judges are looking forward to assessing and tasting your food and drinks.